Welcome to our new home in Narrabri. I thought I'd give you a walk through so you can see the house we bought behind the front gate. This house was built in the 1940s. It has been renovated. Um, you'll have, a, and I'll show you what what's been renovated. Like the veranda's been put on, big veranda. Come in the front door. A lovely hallway. Very much our type of hallway. Beautiful tall ceilings, shellac style wall. So this is a spare bedroom, which I'm gonna use as a work office for working from home. You can see we're starting to put artwork up. I Jan put the cows up that she painted. I also put up some portraits that she's done for me. I'll probably put some more up if it's gonna be my workspace. Uh, this is bathroom number one, huge big bathroom. Now this wasn't here on the original house, this has been added in by the previous owner. And over here is the computer room. And there's Jan playing solitaire. Uh, bathroom number two. Again, all of the claw bath. I had a bath in that the other night, so good. Again, this wasn't part of the original house, it's been added on by the previous owner. Lots of stuff still to unpack and sort out and put in places. Come into the lounge room, dining room. Yes, the fire has been going today. It's been a bit cool here. Middle bedroom. This will be used as the kids' bedroom. So I've got to put the bunks up for them so they'll have their own bathroom as well. A little kitty seat on the toilet ready for them. And then we come into the main bedroom. So it's got a mud room, which leads to the outside, uh, a walk-in wardrobe, and an, our ensuite bathroom. Again, this is all a new addition to the house. You can see that doorway there uh, was to the back. This used to be the back veranda, I think or part of the back veranda. There's another doorway that we'll probably paint white. You can come into the kitchen. Love the sink. Love that style of sink. And then into big laundry. Lots of storage. And then we go out the back door. Now the back veranda is a shocking mess at the moment because we've still got all my shed stuff because I don't have a garage yet. So out, in, outdoor entertainment area, huge big water tank, which we've got to get connected up to the house. Big entertainment area, once it's all cleaned up, it'll be great. That pond is over there is going to go. Some of our plants. Garden shed. Old fibro dunny, you're going to use that as uh, dry storage for firewood, carport, and I'm going to get a double garage put in here. And we'll come round. As you can see, there's the addition with that little porch. That's off our bedroom. I'm going to price up getting the driveway concreted. Gonna cost me an arm and leg, but anyway. And this part here was an addition as well. So there you go. Circuit, I'll take you around this side. The house. So I've got to get new fences put in. We'll put, get some colour bond fences put in because these are pretty old and need replacing on both sides thankfully the back fence doesn't need doing because uh, that borders onto the catholic school behind us chimney's going to need a little bit of work done to it but i should be able to do that myself um, gas bottles for the stove and we'll set up in the backyard some garden beds probably have more garden beds than we had down in erina this the trees are staying we love this tree uh, this, once it's drained fully, we started get bucketing the water out. We'll turn that into garden beds as well, just for ornamental flowers. There, there you go. Ugh, the mess. Get away. Slowly getting through it.
got to try and fit it all into the garden shed and back through the back door so there you have our lovely house we love it here so much and one of my favorite things is the fireplace So you're more than welcome to come and stay. We've got plenty of room. Bye.